Dear aspiring dev, one of the questions I get fairly regularly is, what certifications do I need to become a web developer? And 99% of the time, the answer is, there aren't any required certifications. So today, let's talk about some certifications that might interest you if you're looking to go the extra mile and stand out from the crowd. Hi, I'm Bree, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if this is your first time seeing me, hi, I'm really happy to have you here. So welcome to Dear Aspiring Dev, which is the series where I take new and aspiring developers on their journey from having the dream to getting the job. And this is the seventh video in the Dear Aspiring Dev series. And if you haven't seen the others, I will place a link to the playlist somewhere up here for you to go ahead and take a look at. So there are parts of the tech industry where certifications are strongly suggested, if not required, but is web development one of those parts? Not exactly. However, there are some certifications that you can take a look into if you are looking to go that extra step and sort of make yourself stand out. So today let's talk certifications, when you might need them, why they're popular, and a few you can consider. So before I start, I wanna make the distinction between certifications and certificates. I've seen that some people use them interchangeably, but they're a little well, quite different. When I'm talking about certifications, I mean the type where you take an exam that challenges a specific skill set that you have, and then you get a certificate that says you are a master of X skill. I'm not talking about like certificates of completion that you would get if you did something like complete a section of free code camp. So first and foremost, out of all of the interviews that I've been on and out of all of the companies that I've applied with, I have never ever been asked, do I obtain a certification in a skill, a programming language, a programming methodology, anything like that. So I don't speak for any other developers or hiring managers or companies or anything like that. But from what I've seen, a lot of people have experienced the same thing where they haven't really been asked to show that they have a certification in a specific skill um, prior to being hired. I definitely think there are a lot of reasons for this, but if we compare web development to another part of tech where uh, certifications are strongly suggested if not required, like cybersecurity, I could think of lots of reasons why an employer would want the person who's being hired to have some sort of certification in security prior to being hired. I think in all careers we learn on the job, but there are some careers that are a little bit more forgiving when you're learning on the job. For instance, if I mess up code and let's say I mess up production, yes, it could be really bad, but nine times out of 10, hopefully, I wouldn't be presenting a large threat to the company that I'm working for. If you're working in cybersecurity for a company, it could be very detrimental and a little catastrophic if part of learning was introducing a pretty large security risk. Of course, that was a probably a really extreme example, but I think, like I said, being a web developer, learning on the job is a little bit more forgiving. And for somebody who's coming in to do security, there are a good amount of things that you would want them to be exposed to or know how to mitigate before they start the job. So some branches of tech where you'll find that certifications are either strongly suggested or required are, like I said, cybersecurity, networking. Um, I've seen a lot of certifications for people who are help desk and working on servers, working on specific systems or devices, anything like that. So there's definitely a large library of certifications that directly target these skills um, and they get more niche as you dig a little bit further down, but we don't exactly have the same large library of certifications in development. Now, just because there aren't as many, that doesn't mean there are zero certifications that you can take as a developer. And just because they aren't required for you to get a job, it doesn't mean that you can't take them or that you shouldn't take them. So I've talked a little bit about the stiff competition in web development on my channel before and the fact that it can be a little bit rough trying to get a job when a lot of people are using the same exact skill set. If you were to do something like pass an MCSA exam that allows you to showcase your skills with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I think that that could be a very beneficial leg up that you would have um, in comparison to somebody who hasn't taken the exam. So now let's take a look at some certifications that you can take a look into as a developer. I'll be sure to leave the links to the exams in the description box below. 
I do want to note that these certifications are mostly tailored to new developers, so you'll hear a lot of intro and titles of these uh, certifications and exams. So if you're looking to break into web development and you're looking for a little bit of spice to add to your resume and portfolio, um, Microsoft has MCSA certifications and the certifications only require one exam. So they have like a lot of um, exams out there. However, I picked a few that were specific to like web development or like beginner friendly. And these certifications are great because they don't require any formal training as well. So it's likely that any courses that you've done to learn these skills, they will likely suffice and you'll be able to pass the exams. So the first one is intro to programming with HTML and CSS. The second one is database fundamentals. The third one is intro to programming with JavaScript. Um, the fourth one is software development fundamentals, and the fifth one is intro to programming using Python. I think these are all great intro exams, um, and they cover a variety of different topics that are typically picked up by people who are coming into the industry as web developers. So the next one is awesome if you're gonna be working with Java. I actually had the opportunity to take this uh, when I completed bootcamp, but I never got around to it. This is the OCA, which is Oracle Certified Associate, and this is going to be the first exam of a few levels that they have, and it's gonna test your Java knowledge. Then if you are into DevOps, AWS has a good amount of certifications as well in different branches. Um, but one of their more beginner ones, one that I'm actually working towards now, is their AWS certified developer. So the moral of the story is, you absolutely do not need a certification to land a job as a developer. Certifications are something that I'm now focusing on since I've had a little bit of time to have hands-on experience. And I also wanted to wait a little bit because certifications can get up there in price and they can get a little bit expensive. And a lot of times, because it's furthering your education and furthering your development as a developer, um, a lot of times your employer will pay for them, maybe in full or maybe even um, like partially paying you to take them. So maybe that's something that you would do is take a look at some exams that you might be interested in. And then once you land a job, then you can start thinking about taking some because you won't have to pay so much out of pocket. So are you planning to take any certification exams? Let me know in the comments. I hope that this was helpful for you all and maybe ease some of your worries about needing certifications to be a developer. You absolutely do not. In the next Dear Aspiring Dev video, I'm excited because we're gonna be talking about resumes and I know that resumes are something that a lot of people have trouble with. So I'm gonna be talking about some tips and tricks that I have for your developer resumes. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you all next time.